Want to be the most beautiful woman in the room? I'm going to tell you how. Hi ladies and welcome to today's video. I am so glad you're here. Um, in fact, if this is the first time that you've checked in on one of my videos, a special welcome to you. My name is Kay. I blog at dressformyday.com where I encourage women just like you and me, mostly in our 50s and up, simply to get dressed for our days. I believe that when we get dressed for our day, then we also show up, we speak up, and we make a difference. Now today's video is going to be a little different from all the other ones I've done so far. You see, not only do I share style tips and beauty tips and even fitness tips at dressformyday.com, but I believe it's important that we also address inner beauty. So usually on Saturdays, I post an inner beauty post. I'm taking off this summer, and so I thought instead I would do a video that's kind of got an inner beauty theme. And so today, I want us to talk about how to be the most beautiful woman in the room. Now let's back up just a little bit and let me explain what I mean by that. I don't necessarily mean the most beautiful woman to walk into a room, but the most beautiful woman in a room. You see, I think a beautiful woman in a room is a woman who knows how to make other people feel at home, make other people feel at ease, who kind of sets a gentle and peaceful tone in whatever room she's in. And that's the kind of woman I want to be. I bet you do too. When I was growing up, I learned a lot about how to be a beautiful woman from, my, from two different places, really. One is from my mom. My mother is a beautiful woman. Not only is she beautiful physically, but her friends will tell you she is indeed one of the most beautiful women in any room. She knows how to put other people at ease. She knows how to look you in the eye and have conversation with you. My mother was such an example of what it means to be the most beautiful woman in the room. But I also, my mother actually invested something and she sent me to a beauty and charm and modeling school. Can you believe it? <laughs> sure enough, when I was in high school, I went to a school called Lynn Chris Ann and it was a school of modeling and charm or modeling and beauty, something like that. <laughs> and not only did we learn how to model and we learned how to put our makeup on and how to put outfits together, but we also learned just those etiquette things, the, the ways to make people feel at ease and the ways to just carry yourself gracefully. So a lot of what I'm sharing with you today are the things I've learned from my mother and what I learned from Lynn Chris Ann's School of Modeling and Charm. <laughs> All right, let's get to those 10 things that can help you be the most beautiful woman in the room. The first thing I think it is important for us to do is to dress beautifully and appropriately, both for the occasion and for our own personal style essence. I think it's important that you know what your personal style is. And in fact, if you need some help with that, please check me out at dressformyday.com because there I have a little quiz to get you started, but I also have posts all the way through my blog accounts to help you find your personal style essence. You know what, when we are dressed in a way that is beautiful, but also appropriate to who we are and to where we are, we'll feel more confident. And there is nothing more beautiful than confidence. So the first tip is simply to dress beautifully and appropriately for your style and for the occasion. The second step, uh, tip that I have for you though, is to draw the focus to your face to use both your clothing, your accessories, and your makeup and your hairstyle to draw people's focus up to your face and specifically to your eyes. You see, it's all gonna happen right here. This is where we want to engage people with what we say, with how we look at them, with the expressions on our face. And so I encourage you to use your clothing, your accessories, and your makeup and your hairstyle to draw the focus to your face. The third thing that you can do, of course, is to practice good posture. Oh my, <laughs> maybe I should do that right now. It is hard, isn't it? 
it's so easy to start slumping and to start kind of just relaxing so much and we're so bad about that. You know, when I was growing up and I'm five foot eight and I was five foot eight even when I was in the sixth grade and I was taller than everybody, even all the boys. And so I very quickly became this girl who kind of slumped around. <laughs> And my mom, which that's probably why, in fact, she enrolled me in Lynn Chris Ann, was just to get me to stand up straight for Pete's sake. Here's a little tip for you. I've found that if you pull your shoulders straight up, then pull them back and then relax them, that is pretty much your perfect posture. As we get older, we begin to actually lose the equipment necessary to have good posture sometimes. So gals, we have to fight for it. And one of the ways that you can be the most beautiful woman in the room is simply to practice good posture. The third thing that you can do, or the fourth thing, that was three, number four, is simply to smile. <laughs> and let me give you a couple of tips about smiling. First of all, try to make sure that your smile begins with your eyes. Watch this. Did you see how my smile just began with my mouth? That didn't look very genuine at all. Our smile needs to begin with our eyes and then trickle down to the rest of our face. Watch this. Did you see how my eyes actually pulled my mouth up? That's what a genuine smile looks like, and that engages people and brings them in. I've also noticed, as far as smiling, that we really kind of need to find out what is our natural face. Your natural face is how you just look when other people are talking, maybe when you're sitting in a class or you're sitting in church. <laughs> Maybe you need to ask somebody, what's my natural face? Now that's a hard question because most of us don't want the answer to that. But we need to find out what do I normally look like when I'm not the one talking and I'm just the one sitting there listening? Because here's how a lot of us look. <laughs> do you know anybody that looks like that? I probably do. Oh, heaven help. We need to work on our natural face, ladies. We need to learn to smile with our eyes even when we're not the one that's at the focus of the attention in the conversation. Take note. All right, the fifth thing that we can do though, and now the things begin to shift, is to forget about ourselves and focus on other people. There is nothing more beautiful than a woman who has forgotten about herself and is more focused on the people around her, whether it's the one who's holding the conversation or the other people sitting in the group. So, ladies, that's so important. I remember years ago when I was uh, serving as a mentor for a Mothers of Preschoolers group. And I would um, just hold babies and help them set up and help them clean up and stuff like that. These women were all a good bit younger than me. But really the meeting, the mothers of preschoolers, it was for them, it wasn't about me. And I remember driving to those meetings every other week and I would have to remind myself, Kay, this is not about you, this is about them. And I would even sometimes pray about that on the way there. I would say, Lord, help me today not to make this next hour and a half or two hours about me, it's about them. Help me to help them have a wonderful morning that sets the tone for the rest of their week. I think there is nothing more beautiful than a woman who puts herself second and who puts other people first. All right, number six, the next thing we can do is simply look people in the eyes. You know what, when we're having a conversation with somebody, whether we're at lunch with them or we're sitting in a group of people and someone is talking, the polite thing to do, but also the engaging thing to do is to look at them, to not look at our phone and not look at the other person who's coming into the room, but look at the person who's talking. There is nothing more beautiful than having someone look at you while you're speaking. Number seven, along the same lines, a beautiful woman is one who begins conversations. She's somebody who knows how to build a conversation and, and get conversation going, not just stating facts, not just expressing opinions, but a give and take of conversation. That is lovely. Along those same lines, I think number eight is simply to learn how to ask gentle and true and authentic, sincere questions. You know, don't you love to be asked about your life? 
Maybe you can ask about somebody's schedule, ask about their upbringing, ask about their family and how they like to spend their time. And then of course we have to be genuinely interested and listen to the answers. But a beautiful woman is one who asks sincere, gentle questions of other people. Number nine is to draw other people into the conversation. I think it is so lovely when there's someone in the room, someone in the, in the group who makes a point of bringing everybody into the conversation, who will say things like, Susan, what do you think? Or Ginger, I haven't heard from you. What's your opinion about this? It's the same person also who, when someone does walk into the space, maybe who hasn't been there, who says something like, hey, Carol, we were just talking about what we're having for dinner tonight. What are you planning on making for dinner tonight? <laughs> it's just that, just being courteous, right? Just inviting other people into the conversation. And then number 10, boy, my mother really drilled this one into me. <laughs> and that is to call people by their names. There is nothing more beautiful than hearing our own name. We love to hear people speak our names, especially when they're saying goodbye. Yes, I think it's important to use people's names when we say hello and during the conversation, but especially as you're about to part ways, it is so lovely simply to say, bye Joni, it's been so nice talking to you today. I hope you have a great week. Bye Cindy, thanks for dropping in today. Learn to use people's names, especially when you say goodbye. Hey, those are my 10 tips, but I bet you have some too. What makes a woman the most beautiful woman in the room to you? I would love it if you would share with me in the comments and maybe other viewers could see those comments too. If you've enjoyed today's video, it's been a little different, give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, let me know and I can do some more inner beauty videos. Hey, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you met me here every week. So be sure and subscribe, hit that little bell so that you'll receive a notification every time I upload. I generally upload videos every Wednesday. I hope to see you here again next week. Bye now.